What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ja'Kel. Welcome back to my channel, Ja'Kel Legacy. And today's video is going to be about me, where I've been. Um, just a brief update on, you know, how my life has been going here in Portland. Um, and just an update for real. I know I ain't gave y'all nothing in probably about like a month. Month for some change. I don't know, but... You know, with that being said, if you made this far in the video, man, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And like I say, as you grow, I grow. And as I grow, you grow. I love you. I thank you. I appreciate you. And I praise y'all. But without further ado, y'all, let's get into this video. Yeah, y'all, man. Uh, where have I been? We're going to sit back, man. We're going to feel me. I ain't going to be all like this. We're going to chill out, man. But yeah, though. Where have I been? I know every time I come back, I'm always damn near to give me an update about me or where I've been. But that's just simply because, man, um, I be, I don't, like, I think I've said it before. I'll say it again. I ain't trying, I'm not going to be as consistent on my channel if my mental ain't right, if I'm going through shit, you know, with home, life, um, or if I'm moving, if I'm moving and I show shit, I show shit. But if I'm going through shit day by day and I can't be consistent because of whatever I'm going through or if I'm not being consistent, it's just because obviously, you know, I'm going through something or I ain't going through nothing or I just want to take a break from shit or I just am doing other things. Um, and that leads me to where I've been. Um, basically, if y'all have seen like the last two little streams on my channel, uh, make sure though you go follow me on Twitch. My Twitch, uh, I will put it down in the description below. Which y'all can get at me on Twitch uh, at capital D, lowercase r, a, apostrophe, no, not no apostrophe, but capital D, r, a, capital Q, U, E, L, one, six, zero, zero. Once again, capital D, r, a, Q U E L 1600. Uh, that's my Twitch. Um, I'll be on there when I'll be off normally Monday through Friday. I was on there heavily. I was, I was on there so consistent when I wasn't doing videos. I was on there heavy playing new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, uh, Call of Duty 2K, shit like that. Like, you know, basic shit, GTA, shit like that. But go follow me on there because if I ain't on here, I'm on there, but not right now. Y'all can follow me, get them follows up, you know, roll to 50 followers on there. Um, of course, I ain't live on there because, you know, y'all don't know, but I motherfucking TV broke. And uh, my TV fucking broke. I had bought this TV and... My TV broke and shit, I ain't been on the game since. But me... Saying about that, Drakeo 1600 is my Twitch. I game and shit. I be on that bitch every day when I got a TV and shit like that. But update with me, man. Um, I still do reside in Portland, Oregon. Almost said a different state. Um, yes, I'm moving again. I'm moving again. I'm moving again. Um, I know every time y'all come to me, I move and shit like that. But that's my life. You know, I'm just showing y'all my life. You know, as I make steps, adjustments and grow and, you know, evolve and change and, you know, just go through things. So, yes, I move a lot. You might be saying that you might have gave up. You probably came back after like five moving videos ago. Who knows? You probably went away. But as you tuning in, yes, I move a lot. Um, you know, just because before all this shit, let's not forget, before all this shit, a nigga was living in my mama's house, you know, got kicked out of my mama's house was on my own at 19 and a little bit before, you know, going through shit, you know, with moms and shit like that. But 19 for real, for real, head on, like since I was 19, bro, um, went to waterfront, my old crib. Then from there, just like, I've been on my own. Kennedy came in my life. We kind of went to my mom's for like a week or two, whole bunch of shit that I don't even talk about. I don't even think about, I ain't even finna shed light on too. Just know that I've been, trying to get in position, you know, getting away from a nine to five, getting away from, 
Indiana, getting away from things that distract me, things that I thought once would would cope and and help me and aid me in ways, rather it be people I was around, rather it be simply people I was around or the environments I was around or things that y'all don't see and I don't see, haven't seen in years. Y'all don't see them because they're not here, obviously, but y'all might hear about them or have heard about them or maybe I haven't even brought them to light. But, you know, I fell back or they fell back. Really, they fall back and I fall back. Family, though, it'd be different. I, like, fall back to shit I peep. But, like, friends and shit, they just fall back because they just either go in their own direction or we just stop talking. You know how shit be as you evolve and change. I don't want to say grow old, but as you, you know, you live, learn, and change. And, you know, as time goes, as time flows. Um, But, yeah, motherfucker, I just be moving bro like and that's life you feel me i can't sit in one spot i used to be so in my head oh i gotta I, i'm gonna be in indiana i'm gonna be in hallville my whole life got away from that 15 oh uh, i'm gonna be in indiana my whole life and i'll be in or my mama house and i'll be in my mama kicked out 10 different spots before i got my own crib with my girl who's in like 10 other different like family members the car outside hospitals whole nine pause all the way until i was turned 21 and i got my first crib at 21 my girl was 20 um and then just since then bro and then we kind of jumped back we lost that crib and then we went to live with my uncle and then we went uh to another another friend house and then we ended up getting our second crib and then it just kept going from there but yeah i said to say like i move a lot and you know, I like I like moving to an extent. I never like moving because when once me and my mom and sister got out the hood and shit like that, we would move constantly, bro. So it's kind of weird how now that I say that, I think about it. It's like years later, years like years had went by, and I now do the same thing. But I'm they like more so moved to Indiana a lot after we got out the hood and shit like that at fifteen and shit. We would move even even kind of even even kind of when I was in the hood, my mama would kind of get an apartment, but she always end up back at her mom's, my granny. She always end up back home, no matter where she go. She always end up back, or then eventually get her own shit. But somehow would come back, but then if it was for a while, she would get her own shit to the point where now, like my granny, kind of be with my aunties and mom and shit like that. But yeah, I've been moving a lot, so it's like to kind of be on my own. It's kind of crazy that I'm damn near doing that now. I'm damn near doing that now. It's like I'm, I'm really, shit, exploring life. I mean, that's what life's about, you know. And I'm a product of my environment. I used to be. Of course, I still have a demeanor or certain things or aneurysms or things I do and be on point and things that are still encrypted with me today that I still may apply to this world I am in now. But I got away from that type of shit, but I still imply a lot of things, you know, still to this day. Um, but you know, I'm proud of my progression. I'm proud that I, I can say I made out of Indiana. I made it out of Hallville. I made it out of my mom's house. I made it to be able to go to Dallas, Texas. I never did these things with my mom and them, you know, for financial reasons or my mom had to always fucking work or we just never, we never thought out of Indiana for real. I feel like maybe she had hopes and aspirations of taking me and my sister or me out of Indiana, but never had the financial stability to, or had to work so much, or she wanted to, but she couldn't. She was damn near trapped. But I was able to, you know, go to Dallas, go to Houston, live in Houston, go to Albuquerque, be in Albuquerque, grow with Albuquerque, go to fucking Santa Fe, live in Santa Fe, Colorado, be in Colorado. Uh, Phoenix, San Francisco, Los Angeles, fucking El Paso. Nigga, I've been to so many fucking San Antonio. I've been to fuck. I think I said Arizona. I've been to a lot of fucking places, bro. I've been to a lot of fucking places. Now I'm in Portland. Um, I feel like it's time I'm leaving now. I don't really know off the top of my head. I done did so much. In just three years, bro. I done did so much in three years. I ain't been home since 2020. Yeah, I ain't been home since 2020. 
It's 2020, finna be 2024. Almost four years I ain't been back home at all. I've been everywhere but my hometown. Um, but yeah, man, I'm just, I'm, I'm proud of my progression. I'm proud of myself. You know, I still to this day am learning myself, you know, spiritually, mentally, physically, um, you know, meditating and praying and, you know, staying, staying positive and staying strong and, you know, breaking away from the nine to five. And I don't be on TikToks as much unless I, I don't want to be on TikTok unless I'm posting myself. Rather be my content with gaming, my YouTube, or some my positivity shit, no distraction type shit, just all me. And I'm 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 basically independent in this shit, so it's always all me. Unless my girl time and time again, she may post me or some shit. But like other than that, bro, I'm 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 all in for myself with that shit. With YouTube and you know. With all that being said, I be wanting to do that shit, but I might be going through things and I don't want to give y'all videos and then it'd be gaps. I want to give y'all videos and be consistent, but I might have moved or I might have went through a situation with a car or I was right in the right, I was in the right headspace or, you know, no excuses, no excuses for real. Just life. I've been at this shit since I was 19, like on my own. So the first I say till I was like 23, 24, I'm now 25. Uh, even though I don't like saying that shit, but in his body, on his earth, in this, you know, in this 25 years. But I feel like my soul is older soul, but my mind is infinity, infinite. You feel me? Um, but yeah, like being able to do the things I have done, seeing the things I have seen, you know, even to this day, it still be like, it be like, fuck. It may be times like right now I'm in Portland, Oregon, bro. I would have never fucking thought I'd be in Portland, Oregon, bro. I would never in my fucking life thought I'd be. And it's raw as hell. Like, of course, you know, we want to be here, wanted to be here. But I just, something about me did not want to be here. Like, I wasn't committed. It was like a some some shit that you like foot in, foot out in. You know, for those who live like that or go by that, you know. Like, one foot in, one foot out type shit. And I've been going through that a lot with like not being on the internet. I might be on internet for a little bit, or I might be off, but I really be on YouTube. I swear to God, I be on YouTube watching car shit. Uh, I might branch off and watch gaming, but that shit kind of get boring. Or I will fucking, um, I'm so glad somebody called me, but it don't fuck with the video, so we still here. But I don't know why the fuck somebody calling me. Nobody ever calls me, like nobody. But I'll get into that. If the video shouldn't cut out because my storage is full and I got to buy somewhere, which I probably honestly have this video. I got $10 I buy it. But like, yeah, like being able to, you know, let me get this on one. like, why are you? Okay, cool. You gone. Bye. Try, enemy trying to work. But yes, I've been one foot in, one foot out with a lot of shit, you know, and I, I, I found myself not want to watch game and shit. Like, still finding myself. Not want to watch gaming videos. I can't stand watching a nigga play the game all day. I could watch me play the game all day and me play the game. I can't watch a nigga, bro. I used to when I was younger and shit. Didn't know better. Didn't know different. Didn't know different. My mind only thought so big. Or I can't watch YouTube videos with pranks. And I might watch car shit as motivation so I get my Hellcat and things I would like to do with my Hellcat. You know, rather be racing, rather be mods, rather be vlogs and that POVs. I've been wanting to do POVs, bro, since like 20 fucking 16. I sort of got, I've been wanting to do POVs for like, bro, like six, seven, eight, nine years, bro. I sort of got, before it was what it is today, but I get bored and I never used to be like that. But I know as you pray and you find yourself and you learn and you grow within yourself, things that might have been you know, normal to you or you could be immune to may, you know, you just simply used to it. like where you live. You might be want more, you know, might be one foot in, one, one foot out with moving or your situation with whoever you're living with or your relationship or your life or your job, whatever the fuck the case may be. You know, I found myself with that with it being that within like life like being on the internet it ain't shit on that motherfucker but i'm not posting myself i'm not on that bitch i'm just on youtube all fucking day and where i'm watching movies 
like or meditating or praying or working out again but starting back working out or praying i pray i pray so fucking heavy like i pray so much that's why i know i know that's why i'm so you know you know i have exceeded in you know prospering still and finding myself and will have a very abundant life successful life per se because i pray bro i pray a lot you know and there's been times i was one foot up one foot out with prayer but you know i pray again full time um but anyway you know i move a lot because life or that's what i go with god's universes angels and ancestors flow so if some is thriving me because of my living situation or whatever the fuck i look at it because that's what god and the universe and the angels want me to do you know I, i'm they're leading me to the right path in the, the day nobody's doing this shit like i'm probably physically doing this shit but nobody's like pushing me for real or like you know making me move besides my angels and what i believe in and myself sometimes but i have intuition you know i have angels and ancestors that, I, that talk to me spirit guides messages dreams you know deep deep connections ain't about that but like we moving again and i thought this place would work out i wanted it to you know because it's trees and it's beautiful and they where they filmed the movie twilight and it's it's mountain trees it's not like mountains it's, it's mountains a little bit but it's like tree mountains if that makes sense so like a form of a mountain but it's a tree and hills and this raw is it's, it's beautiful here it, it, it's beautiful like the city is beautiful there's no police for real i don't ever really hear no crime like i don't ever hear no shootings and shit like that like it's real fucking cool it might be like ods from like overdoses you know i don't want to say junkies but those type of people that you know are you know heavy on drugs per se but it's peaceful bro i mean yeah you got your block your street you know or your hood you know you got your Pruts prostitution section. You got your junkie heaven. I don't want to say junkie. I hate to be a hypocrite, but sorry. I ain't trying to contradict myself with the people that, you know, do drugs um, and the people that are homeless. Um, you got those situations, but other than that, it's, it's, it's easy. It's cake work. Um, I currently still work the same job I've had since I've gotten here. Um, I work in a freezer Friday, Saturday. So I actually work today. Uh, it's Friday when you're seeing it's third, um, third of November. Um, I work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, twelve hour shifts, thirty six hours. That's it, and I'm off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So pretty cool, calm, collective schedule. Kennedy, you know, got her job. She worked Monday through Friday, you know, shit like that. Seven, you know, nine to five. Um, but yeah, like I'm breaking myself away from my job. Like I used to want a job, want a job. I see my mama working and how she had to work so hard so i did not want to be like that like she motivated me to want to go work as well as myself but more so her because i didn't want her to have to buy me certain shit or you know i don't want to be an extra extra mouth and at the time it was just me and my sister and herself single mother seeing her all them years work how she did to provide you know it's not always easy on her as well as it's not always easy on the children seeing and being around and a part of, you know, you may always feel like you a problem child or all these things and shit like that. But, you know, I encrypted myself as a young age with my dad in the streets, my mom at work, you know, I'm going to get some money. I got to get some money. And, you know, I've been working since I was 15 and I'm now 25, 10 years later. You know, we time is real. We really don't have an age. We, we've always been here just in different forms but that's a different subject for a different day but i say to say like you know i'm getting away from jobs man i see my mom i don't talk to her at all but just knowing she works seven days a week 12 hours she's been doing that type of shit since i was a child bro she has me my little sister who's like 18 gonna be 19 in february and my little brother who's gonna be like four and you're still working like no shame towards it and she's now being able to go travel and do certain shit but she still has to come back how i said she had to go back to her mama house now she gotta go back to a job to depend on but me i don't have kids yet 
I used to want kids at first bad until I realized what life was and I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. So I know they're going to come at the right time. I ain't going to be no old ass daddy. I feel like I truthfully, I just feel like everything happens at the right moment, the right moment, you know, and that's going to come when it come. But yeah, we, 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 we moving from Portland. You know, it was beautiful. We didn't go to the falls. We're going to come back when we financially able, because I've been working and before she started working, Kennedy, I was for most of the time here. I've been working. So like that shit is not easy on somebody when you only making, yeah, you make $800 a week, which is good. If you buy yourself and you know, you ain't got no high ass rent and you know, you, but I have a family. I have my girl, I have myself and I have dogs. You know, I have two dogs and a cat and my girl and myself. So seeing my mom kind of do the things like I commend her for that. I salute her for that. But she never was home. She never had time for us. And when she had time for herself, nigga, she want to go party. She want to go be with her friends. She want to go be her age, her years and age. So, you know, me. I don't want to do that shit because I, I don't need that type of shit around. I don't need negative energy. I don't need negative people. I don't need nobody who's willing to do whatever to see me sad or hurt or whatever the fuck. I stay away. I used to think I needed those things. And I didn't know in the process those things and people were hurting me. Alongside not just them, I was hurting myself because they're not forcing me to come shit with them. They're not forcing me to be here. I'm being so I didn't know that. And now I look at life very different now. I chill with my girl. I get on the game with my friends whenever I do. My niggas, my homies, you feel me? I ain't gonna say my homies, but like, you know, you know how you got your work friends, you got your game friends. You know, you got your, you know, type shit, you know? Like, you got your work friends, but then when you leave, you don't talk. These, you know, my one little homie, we we would talk for a minute, like, go through life. Um, he younger than me, so I try to tell him, you know, try to show him a different route, the route I was headed in and at one point was in. You know, not full deep in, but I was still around that shit, in that shit, seeing that shit, dealt with that shit. But he, you know, younger than me, way worse than town in Indiana. And you feel me? Now he working. I'm working. He travel. I'm traveling. I don't talk to bro. I ain't talked to bro in probably about like a month. Damn near. Like around my, I say like, yeah, around like a month ago. Um, but yeah, motherfucker, like, I'm saying that to say, bro, like, I be going on a move, but like I'm moving. I'm moving somewhere. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you. I can't tell you. If you if you know me truthfully, I ain't gonna say you know me because you don't know me. You just know what you know me from what I give you. Y'all don't see my life every day. Y'all don't see the things that the YouTube don't see. Y'all don't. Y'all ain't tuned into me fully yet. One day, yes. All day, yes. I'm almost there with being able to be. YouTube free and free from a nine to five, but you know, I'm not going to tell you where I'm going. I'm not going to tell you where I'm going. Just know that I've been there before. Just know that I may have talked about it before. I may have said good and bad things about it before, but trust me when I say, I know it's right. It's the right path. It's where my heart, you know how some you always cling on to and you let go of and you break away from it, but you always end back up to it, rather be a person, rather be a car, a job, a life setting, anything, and you always find your way back to it, a friendship, relationship, anything, and that's what this, this place is, I always find myself, since I ever very first went, I always find myself going back and thinking about and deeply attached to that place for what it has, and I'm thankful, you know, to be able to, I got my transmission fixed. We all know that shit, how it was. I got, you know, I got my, I got my shit fixed. My car's fixed. We both working. We got a spot already waiting on us. Literally. That's how, you know, thankful I am. Fortunate I am. Well abundant and heavily watched over I am. Me and my girl, you feel me? And our family, which is, you know, us and her loved ones as well. Her family has even had opportunities. I can't speak of mine because I don't talk to my family, but I call her family my family. And they know who they are. And I fuck with, not even know, know certain people. I fuck with all her people because they don't, they don't do shit to me. 
they treat me like they treat me nothing but love, love, love and respect. So her family got shit going good for them. My family, I don't know. I don't talk to them. I don't talk to them. They don't talk to me. But I don't look at them like family for real. No family is finna disown or disband their child. I feel like regardless of whatever the fuck, which I really ain't did nothing wrong. If anything I've done is tell the truth through this YouTube platform or I have expressed the truth to them and they just push me away. So if you're going to push me away because I'm telling you my truth and there's always two sides to a story. And there's always one truth. There's always one truth and there's always two sides to a story. So if you're willing to push me away from my truth, which we both know is the truth, and it's my side of the story. I don't know what you would try to do to do to me or whatever the fuck. So I separate myself. I used to still be like, I love these people, ride or die, like heavy. Even now they call me and something wrong, I'm going, I'm going to come. For sure. For sure. That's how deep my love is. But in everyday life, I got I can't talk to you. I don't need that energy in my life. Nor do I want that type of energy in my life. And I want to allow that type of energy into my life. You know, so I'm very thankful, you know, for those people when they were here, rather be we don't talk. Or we don't talk. I ain't going to say we do talk. Like in front. If we still talk, we don't talk. I don't talk. But I appreciate you. If you're watching, I appreciate you for you being in my life at the time you was. Because it taught me. You know, I had a little bit of taste of love. I had a little bit of taste of friendships. I had a little bit of taste of moms and fathers, whatever the fuck, grannies and all that shit. And simply just teaching me how to get better and stronger without y'all. Because once I leave from y'all home, once I leave from that conversation, once I go where I go and we don't talk, but then I might I might be hurt. You might not give a fuck, but I might be hurt because I grew attachment with y'all just on a deep love, loyalty level. But as time goes on, I like to say time, but as life goes on, I then start to grow apart away from that attachment as deep as it was. You call me, I'm there, but that love, is, I can't say I love, I stopped loving people, but like that, we ain't going to be as close as we was. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But, you know, I hope y'all doing whatever it is. And I hope and wish for nothing but the most positive you know, great love. Y'all deserve it. Um, I'm doing my way. And I'm doing my part. And I'm living my life for me and what I have. You know, it's not always perfect with me and Kennedy. But at the end of the day, we always talk about it. We may argue about it. We always come together. Right or wrong or wrong and wrong or right or right. Whatever the fuck, we always come back. And that's why we're here. That's why we're rocking. You feel me? People you may never had knew for, maybe people you knew for 10, plus, 10, 20, 15 plus years, y'all probably don't fuck with each other as much as y'all used to. Or they did you, did you this, they, you know, but you come across a stranger and y'all fuck with each other stupid tough. And the love is way like, damn, you, you love me more than this motherfucker type shit. So I'm thinking for where my life is going, where me and King's lives are headed. And Y'all will be seeing us soon. The family channel, you know, will be coming soon. We've been going through mental shit. I ain't really going through mental shit, but she's been going through her phase of life of growing it to herself. And she's getting better and better within herself. And I love to see that. I'm all for it, you know. Big salute to Kennedy for, you know, finding herself, getting her job, and, you know, doing whatever it is that's bringing herself peace of mind. You know, but we rocking. We're still together. Uh, we ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere with y'all. I'm not. I ain't leaving y'all. If we ever going somewhere, it's me, you, are you watching? Y'all watching? Her, our dogs and shit. If we, if I'm ever going somewhere, or she going somewhere, or we going somewhere, we moving together. Y'all watching me move. Y'all watching me grow. Y'all watching her grow. If y'all do show her, or if she does talk, or whatever the fuck, maybe on the on. The, family channel and shit you'll see more of her but like this is like a different type of shit which if she was here she probably would talk or she probably wouldn't i don't know but this Drakel legacy this unity i have with y'all this is a deeper connection not saying like a deeper connection from her but like we locked in like you we locked in together you might not be locked in with her as much because you don't know her she don't talk to y'all she don't show y'all herself and come and talk to y'all yet she will in the future you know, but, you know, with that being said, yes, we're moving. Leaving Portland, 
I'm tired of working in a fucking free. I work in a freezer. Um, the money is cool. At first it was, but you know, it's a warehouse. And before I ever went to New Mexico, um, I was in a warehouse. Before I ever left Indiana, I was in a warehouse. And then I went to New Mexico. I learned how to work on cars. I learned car parts. I learned so much hands-on shit that I didn't even know. I unlocked new forms of myself. You know how you might be on a game and this character come with certain shit, but as you work with that character more, you unlock more perks. It's like, fuck, or like a gun on Call of Duty. Like, I got this attachment. I got this suppression. I got this new force grip. I got these, you know, ammunition, bullets, whatever the fuck. And it's getting, now the gun getting better and better and better. So it's like, you know, we rocking, you know, I'm right. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm growing within myself and I'm in an amazing headspace, you know, and I'm thankful for y'all that's still here. Even if I know y'all here, the ones I can't see it, the views might be at five, 10, 15, 20, whoever the fuck, but I see, I always see a million. Call me crazy. Say what you want, think what you want, but those who know, know. And I always see more than 10 views. However many views of you, I see more than that. Trust me, but who has I see clearly? Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, but I ain't perfect, but I'm becoming better, you know, within myself, within my relationship, within my life, within my journey, within this path, within this direction, within this purpose, you know? So I'm moving again to a different state. I almost said it again. Without intentionally, I'm like, not intentionally saying it. Not intentionally saying it. It's probably the train. But not intentionally saying it. Like, not trying to say it, just, that's how I know it's home. So, yeah, I'm still in Portland. I am moving from this motherfucker. It was cool while I lasted. It's always gloomy. It ain't it. It's not home. It's not home. So I'm going to say. I ain't going to bash it. It's not home. Because it's beautiful. I work. Cool. But I'm finna be working in a different form, different way, different fashion. I got a job waiting on me in this city. House waiting on this city. And not just jobs. Me and her businesses. My own businesses. My gaming very abundant prosperous life and that was on the way and not just a money abundant just like all around abundant mentally spiritually physically um, that's why i'm not so like like as loud and how i normally be because if you pay attention it's like a deeper it's a different frequency like i don't listen to murder music because i'd listen to that shit you know why bees and all this shit i listen to that shit like because i can relate to that shit like I can relate to this shit. I've been listening to Bruss since, nigga. I was goddamn it in, like, 10th grade, bro. So, you feel me? It's just different. And, yeah. But I don't listen to like, I'm just saying to say, I don't listen to, like, I don't listen to music like that no more. Like, I get away from the music. One foot in, one foot out. You know? So, I love the man I am becoming and who I am now today. For who let, who has eyes, let them see clearly. I ain't here to bash no past person in my life, you know. Y'all showed me shit that I didn't. Y'all, y'all showed me ways and how to unlock new forms of myself. I would ch- with y'all the perks. I unlocked new attributes. Just distancing myself from that type of shit, or y'all doing me however y'all did me. But I'm, I'm me. I'm strong. I'm prayed up and I'm focused. I swear to God, I'm focused. But yeah, I'll see y'all soon. Just an update. If you made it this far, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And like I say, as you grow, I grow. And as I grow, you grow. Find yourself. Find yourself. You watching, man. Find yourself. I can't force you. But I only can tell you from whatever you may think it is. That's that intuition. That's that voice. That's that higher self in you. That's That's, you know. Find yourself. Don't be on fall into the trap of distractions. Because you're gonna be it's gonna it's gonna fuck a job. You're gonna get so tired of eventually seeing the same shit. Then he's gonna go jump into some other shit and it's like, bro, what the fuck? Then before you know it, you done you 
however old you is, bro. Or whatever going on. You still at that job. Not bashing it. You may like that, but you might be not where you want to be. So distance yourself from bad energy. Distance yourself from shit that ain't helping you. Simply that. If it's not helping you, bringing you revenue, mentally fucking with you, physically making you want to do better, bro. This is yourself. And I promise, at first, it's not easy, bro. It's not easy. It's never easy. If it was easy, everybody would be able to fucking do it, bro. If it was easy to say, fuck that girl, fuck that, you know, fuck that girl you with, fuck that man you with, fuck the people you around, fuck. If it was easy, you would do it. Everybody would do it, but it's not because that person might be helping you. If they're not, if they're not helping you, fuck them. You and your body, you and your, you're, you're the main character in your game. This is a video game. This life shit is a video game. You are the main character in this shit they call life. This is the app that, you know, you click on your phone and it's the app you're addicted to. This is that. This is that app. We're an app. But I ain't going to talk your head off, bro. I love you. I thank you. I appreciate and praise you so fucking much. You know, y'all millions of followers, subscribers, eyes. I see y'all. Call me crazy. But if you know, you know. I appreciate the millions of people that still tuned in to me. Those who are tapped in within. Those who has I see clearly. I love you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I praise you. Like I say, as you grow, I grow. Right? As I grow, you grow. I love you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And I fucking praise you, man. 1500 block, boy. Cross 16th, baby, man. I love y'all, though. I love y'all. I love you. I don't love you. I appreciate you. Love is, is different. I don't know why that word is, but I appreciate you. And I see you. Come.